Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and welcome to my channel and another Dyson Era follow-up video. So in my last video, I did a Dyson heatless curls video using the Dyson traditional method of curling the hair with the Coanda effect. Um, in this video, I figured I would try it again uh, with the beach waves instead. My original heatless curls video was my first attempt, and so I'm hoping maybe in this video I'll get better results. Um, also, since the beach waves, I'm actually physically holding the hair on the barrel um, and waiting for it to dry. Maybe that will um, make it so that the hair is a little bit tighter on the barrel and hopefully will give me a better result. Also, I wanted to just try it out for anyone who was considering getting the Dyson Airwrap for the cool shot ability or the cool setting ability um, and would like to try to curl their hair with the cool setting instead of with heat. So anyway, that is the plan today. I'm really, really hoping that Today's curls will work out a little bit better than last time, um, but I'm really excited, and let's just go ahead and get into it. So I did wet down my hair. I didn't shower anything, so I just used a spray to wet it down. It's not completely damp. In the last Heatless Curls video, I had my hair about 85-90% dry, and since I'm not using any heat, I wanna use a little bit more moisture to my advantage, so I'm gonna try to wet my hair a little bit more uh, in this attempt, and we'll see if that helps at all with the curls holding a little bit better. Also, I'm using the Wee Spray again to kind of prep my hair before I start curling. I also notice with the curling barrels, because you're holding the hair on there, it's not as important to make sure that the hair is going the direction of the arrows. So you can definitely use this with the beach waves without having to switch out the barrels like every other section. So again, uh, high fan speed, cool setting. Let's give this a try. Okay. Uh, my hair is still really wet, so I'm gonna try that again. I can still feel a little bit of moisture in there. And I'm wondering because you're not using any heat that the moisture isn't evaporating as easily. Yeah, I don't feel good about the strand at all. Okay, let's try it again. Third time's a charm, guys. It's gonna hold that there for just a little bit. So pretty, I love that. So I was hoping that maybe adding a little bit more moisture would um, you know, really help hold the style, and I think it did. This turned out really well, but it just took a really, really long time to dry, like three minutes just for this one strand, and I feel like that's just very impractical. So this side is a little bit drier now. I think I'm gonna try to work with it a little bit drier as opposed to a little bit more damp. I thought that I could get a better curl from it being a little damp, but I don't think it makes too much of a difference and it just took so long to dry that um, section. So I'm gonna try to just stick with it being a little bit more on the drier side and go from there. They definitely loosen up a little bit, but you still have that wave in there. Alright guys, well here are the results for the Dyson Airwrap Heatless Beach Waves look and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really really like this look. Actually, I'm kind of loving this. It is so cute. 
Um, this is exactly what I picture like a beach waves look. However, uh, it did take me a really long time to create this look without any heat, um, just like with the other Heatless Curls video. But for what it is and how it turned out, I really, really like it. I know that there is a lot of interest um, for Heatless styles using the Dyson Airwrap, and so this kind of just shows that like it can be done with a little bit of patience. Um, before anyone comes at me though, I 100% know that this is not how you use the Dyson Airwrap. This is just a twist on it because I know that there are a lot of people who are concerned with um, using heat on their hair, and I've gotten so many requests to do heatless styles, so um, please don't come at me. <laughs> I have videos using the Airwrap the regular way um, in my Dyson Airwrap series, so if you want to see a video with the Dyson Airwrap used the regular way with heat and then the cool shot at the end um, be sure to check that out in my series I have a bunch of videos with all of the attachments and the different styles and looks I don't know I can't say enough how much I like the style I held each section on the barrel for about a minute I definitely was more generous with both of the um, wave spray and the hairspray with this look though that I was my previous heatless curls video I probably sprayed four to five sprays per section as I was um, curling my hair. So personally, I think that if you are okay with like a looser beach waist look and you're not too worried about your curls being too tight, I think you'll be happy with the Dyson Air app on the cool setting for a heatless beach waist look. Again guys, I am by no means a pro. I'm not a hairdresser. Um, I am just someone who have the Dyson Airwrap. I don't mind doing review videos. I don't mind demonstrating it. And I've had a lot of requests for pretty much all of these videos that I'm doing on the Dyson Airwrap series. So I apologize if these are getting a little bit repetitive, but I'm not just trying to just throw stuff at the wall. Please be patient with me. I will find a, I will find a different product to review soon. <laughs> What do you guys think of this look? Do you think it's too loose um, or do you guys like it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!